back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories, where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, or later today, I'm going to go over part two of the story I covered earlier, which is titled, My Wife is Addicted to the Gym and is Ruining Our Marriage, and a shout to Isaac for sending me this story. And guys, I don't need to do a recap, because you all just saw this an hour or so ago, but you know, this is all about the guy where it left off, where the guy's wife, she moved out with, she moved out, she's in with her lover, she's pregnant, she has the baby, but it's still this guy's baby, and he's dealing with the aftermath. And obviously it's a roller coaster of emotions, but for this guy, but the fortunate thing is he is divorcing her. Because there's no way, you know, it's over, it's done with. But as you all know darn well, that these guys that these wives usually cheat with are usually scumbag. Well, they are scumbags, but then they start getting treated like crap by these guys, and you know how that goes. So we're going to continue on with things left off to see the direction this crazy saga goes. And again, reminding you guys that you always have to pay attention. You have to stand up for yourself when your lines are being crossed, pay attention to red flags, and be ready to kick them to the curb the second betrayal is beginning. He says here, update. My wife is basically 26 weeks pregnant now. There actually had been much drama with her and her fair partner. Wow, that's a first for a little bit. I was away for a long weekend last week, and it was nice to just get away from her home for a while. This guy does need to get out. Only really annoying thing that happened is that I told her I'm being in the delivery room, not him. After everything she's done, she owes me that. It's not his baby. He has no right or reason to be there. I will not be the one waiting outside when my kid is being born. Well, it's about time you start standing up for yourself. She said yeah and agreed, and she never planned to have him in there with her anyway. <laughs> Probably because he wasn't going to be in there anyway. I asked her she told him, and uh, and she said no. I told that I told her to tell him, and he'll have no part in it. Uh, well, she told him, and apparently he didn't like that, and he started trying to convince her that why he should have to be there. Next thing I know, she's telling me that he really wants to be there, and she's the one giving birth, so she should be able to say who she wants there, and she wants him there, not me. <sighs> Shocker. I think that guy doesn't want to be there. He just wants to be there to one-up this guy. I suppose I'll start making name suggestions soon, and we'll try to overrule names we've, we've had picked out for our future kids for years. We talked a little bit, and she told me I can have our house and the dog in our divorce. See that? She just wants to get away. She she is so swept up by her lover here, Mr. Jim guy, the popular guy at the gym. It's probably banging multiple chicks, married chicks, I'm sure. Oh, you can have the house. You can, you can have the dog. She doesn't care about the dog either. I'd be like, sure. His lawyer's probably like, good, good, take it. I'm requesting that we sell the house and split the profit. Uh, why would if, if she's giving you the house now doesn't you know then hey why should you sell it I can get it if he wants to sell it so he no longer has those memories there but if she's saying you can have the house and I, I have laid no claim to the equity in it then why are you going to split the profit with her maybe that's not what he meant <clears throat> I've already had that written in the paperwork I'm not buying her out of our house, a house I've made all the payments on anyway. I have a much better credit score than her and less debt. There's a freaking surprise. I compromise a lot because she liked this house. I'd rather be able to get my own place based just on what I want and with no reminders of her. Well, I don't blame him there. And there was already no way she was getting the dog. I already had proof that I owned him, those, those, so she wouldn't really stand a chance of having a court award the dog to her. It's the one thing I told my lawyer I wanted above anything else, not including any custody issues surrounding my actual human child. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that dog no matter what. She ain't getting that. We can debate back and forth custody on the, on the future child, but that dog is with me. Because that dog will never leave him, never betray him. Uh uh. Honestly, her fair partner can have her, but he will never ever have my dog. Not to mention my dog is a hundred times more loyal than my wife, and, and some might say even better looking too. <laughs> Guys, your dog, your your pet, as, as a animal lover, and I got two cats at home, and of course, cats and dogs are very different, but my cats, my cats actually behave like dogs. That's the interesting. They're cats, but they're dogs and cats' bodies. They love me to death, and I would trust them above anybody, you know? But, of course, i got to change the litter box and feed them and all that. But, anyhow, yeah, that dog will be loyal to him no matter what. 
So with the idea that I won't be living there in this house for much longer after the baby's born and everything moves quickly, I decided I will still prepare a nursery here anyway in case anyone wants to try to accuse me of not being invested or prepared for fatherhood. I try to look at the positives. It doesn't matter what colors she likes or what themes. I can do whatever I want. Honestly, we've been together for so long and have lived together for most of our adult lives. It's sort of nice not living with somebody but sort of lonely too. I have friends and family, but it's hard to feel in the mood to go out and hang out with people too often. They always ask me about everything that's going on, and it's just like I'm tired of being that topic of conversation. Well, they obviously care, and what I would say to your friends and family is like, all right, look, what's done is done. I really don't want to talk about it anymore because it's just bringing me down. I'm trying to move forward with this. You know, if I want to talk about how would I bring it up? That's what you say. I mean, they care, obviously. I got a promotion at work, which financially would have been better had it happened after the divorce, but I'll take what I can get. I'd say to your boss, okay, can you give me the raise after I'm divorced so it doesn't impact you know, alimony and all that? I feel like I'm living in this limbo right now, and a lot of what I do is always framed around how will this affect me in the divorce? Admittedly, I spy on them on social media sometimes. Don't torture yourself, brother. Guess I'm gonna. Guess I'm hoping to see that he's been in a motorcycle accident or something. Now that the weather is nicer, hasn't happened yet. But he's starting a new company, and once that's up and running, I can always get my friends and family to leave one-star reviews everywhere. I have to find ways to have a little fun. <laughs> so <clears throat> sorry that I didn't respond to a lot of your messages or comments. Sometimes I just take a big break from looking at Reddit since I can. It can be depressing as fuck. Bro, do what you gotta do. Adding to add something I forgot, she told her family that we've split up and that she is with this new guy now. Her sister reached out to me saying how sorry she was, that her sister's a dumbass, and that sort of thing. She told me that my wife was complaining about her affair partner. Oh, how interesting. <clears throat> this guy's wife's already complaining about him. Gee, I wonder why. She says the sex is over when he's done... <clears throat> the sex is over when he's done, and apparently he's really selfish with sex. He doesn't do extra little things for her, and she's used to me doing, like clearing the snow off her car in the morning and heating it up or offering to make her food after a long day. He doesn't speak her love language, and he hangs out with his friends too much. This made me so happy to hear. She's secretly miserable, and I find that absolutely delightful. There you go. Her bad boy, chatter, tyrant lover here he doesn't treat her exactly like this guy here, but this guy obviously treated her too nice. By the end of the day, who's she going to chase? The guy treats her like crap. Or at least puts himself first. Notice that. He puts himself first. That's what I tell you guys. Next update. I'm still alive. Well, I'm glad to hear that, bro. You will survive. I'm mainly posting here because several people have reached out to me and were concerned that I'd taken my own life. So I'm going to stop right there. Number one, guys, never take your own life for somebody that does this to you. But number two, this story is dra dragged out over many months. That's why this was sent to me, but obviously first posted, I think, back in February or March. So I'm collecting all these updates here in one big show. No, I'm not in the brink of ending my life. I think I'm doing much better than I have since all this started. Around the time of my last post, <clears throat> my story blew up and I was kind of getting messages from people who saw it on TikTok and YouTube. I had to take a step back because it was a little overwhelming. I have over 100 unread messages here. I appreciate it, but I was a little uncomfortable at the time, and I got to the point where I didn't really want to talk about the situation with my wife and her affair partner anymore. So as of today, our baby is doing less than 10 weeks. We're in the home stretch now, and I, and I don't feel prepared at all. All this other stuff has been so distracting. I started working on a nursery. It's not done yet, but I have the floor finished and the walls painted. Even though you're going to sell and move out of the house... My ex-wife was impressed with the color scheme and furniture I chose. Why does she see it? Really, dude. She's not legally my ex-wife yet, but I started calling her that. It sort of makes it easier. <clears throat> I'd call her that. I also packed up a bunch of her stuff. Originally, I refused to spend my time packing her things, but eventually I said, just said, screw it, and started packing it. I'm at a point where it's just easier to, do, to not see all this, her stuff around here. Why did I leave it here for so long? Who knows? We could dig into your psych, psych, psychic psyche about that, but uh, at the end of the day, it's good you're packing up her. You should have to pack up her shit. I wouldn't be doing being all nice about it. Again, garbage bags and throw it out in the freaking front yard. Hurry up and get here. It's going to fucking rain soon, honey. She came over to get some of the stuff, the boxes I packed up. Smack! I knew he was going to pack it all in nice boxes. No, garbage bags. That's what she deserves. She came alone. Things were fine between us. I loaded the stuff. I loaded the stuff into her car. Smack! These little things he does here that just shows to show show you 
that, ah, oh, he's got work. Why are you loading up her car? Let her pick up the boxes and put it in her own freaking car. Put it in the garbage bags. Good God, dude. These little things, guys. Huh. We didn't argue. At one point, she started to tear up and said she fucked up. Oh, now you're tearing up. Now you're admitting you made a mistake. Maybe because things aren't working out too well with your scumbag boyfriend. I said, yeah, she did, but there's no point talking about it now. She shit all over her marriage. She has her muscle-bound a-hole to go home to anyway, so who cares? She said, I know, but it's not the same. I told her nothing has been the same since she decided to F him for the first time. She's getting what she deserves, and it's only going to get worse. Supposedly, he's going to let me be in the delivery room when my baby is born. I'll let you be in there. I didn't even argue when she said it like that. But inside, I was boiling at the idea of him letting me be there for the birth of my child. This, this woman here loves every bit of the drama. She said she talked to him and he agreed it wouldn't be right to not allow me to be there. I'm going to take what I can get if it means being there for the birth of my child. I'm going to try to just ignore him for the time being. She was acting all sweet and laying on all the, I really want you there, I really need you there stuff, and I know mentally I'm not in a place to be that cold to her when she starts acting that way. Smack! Yes, you can. <clears throat> Bro, I get you're going through an emotional roller coaster. I get you've been with her for your whole adult life. You're torn apart here, but no. She doesn't deserve your kindness. This should, this should, handle this like a business. I'm trying to be indifferent more than anything else, but it's so hard when she's actually around and starts looking at me a certain way and making me feel bad. Because she knows how to push your buttons, dude. She invited me over to see the nursery they have set up in his house. I'm not sure I can bring myself to go into another man's house and look at the nursery set up for my kid. Do not do it, dude. Not at all. I did ask her if she was truly safe there, though. I don't know why. I'd just been bothering me. As pissed as I still am, I don't want to find out he's mistreating her, and I definitely don't want my kid to be going into an unsafe household. I get it for the kid, but for her, no. Bro, it's only a matter of time that it's not going to work out, and she's going to be coming back to you, and you better fucking turn her down. They probably won't last, but as of right now, there's a very good chance my newborn baby will be still going to his house. It kills me to think about it. It's almost soul-destroying to think about it if I dwell on it too long. She says she's fine. He, gen he genuinely loves her. He's great with kids. And he accepts that she's having a baby and that is part of uh, <clears throat> the package. She insists it's not weird because she was pregnant when anything started between them. Uh-huh. I asked her why she did it and why did she ever let anything start between them in the first place. She said, I don't know. And then went into the I don't want to talk about this mode and left pretty soon afterwards. Typical behavior from her, just run away. She's a big, irresponsible jackass. And yet you married her and were with her and still feel bad. She is not who you thought she was. Overall, I'm doing okay. I'm not sitting here depressed and drinking a bottle of scotch every night anymore. I mean, on occasion. But for the most part, no. I feel more used to my new normal now, and that will all change yet again pretty soon. Well, bro, this is going to be hard. It's going to take time. But you got to stop this nice guy shit. You should never have... Packed up her stuff in boxes, put it in her car. Let you know, you need to spend as little time with her as possible. The only time interaction you should have with her is about the child, nothing more. And and yeah, she's not doing well because this guy's obviously a scumbag. And, and I guarantee you, as much as it hurts that this piece of shit is that your baby is going to be in his house, you know, it's not going to be long before he'll be out of the picture. Trust me. Next update I have a baby, a little girl, and I'm a dad. She was born yesterday at 11.57 p.m., two weeks early. As he's done before, she was having some pains off and on, and he left for work yesterday morning. She works from home on Mondays. She told me about 8.30 a.m. she was having contractions 17 minutes apart. The same thing happened not long ago, but th then by evening, all the pains stopped. I was at work, so I told her to keep me posted. A little later, she said they were 15 minutes apart, and she had some other signs it might be actual labor, start labor starting. I asked her if she needed somebody there with her, and she said she wanted me to come over to be with her. Well, this is his child. However, this seems like almost like a, like a Ross. This is like friends with Ross and his ex-wife. What the? I don't know. Carol. You all saw friends. Many of you saw friends, except instead of being with a guy, Carol was with another woman. And the way this guy's still working with her and everything like that. But at least in that situation, it was another woman, not another dude. She was scared and even asked why she didn't call him. I left work and went over to his house. Uncomfortable doesn't begin to describe what it was like being in the obviously more important things going on. He wasn't there. She didn't even contact him. 
She just she says she wanted it to be me and, and, and her there. In her words, he hadn't seen her pee or crap herself yet, but I've witnessed all that stuff already, so she was more comfortable with me there. Um, how is this guy w witnessing her peeing or crapping herself? Yeah, okay, that happens during labor, but other times? Okay. I really try to be as nice and supportive as possible. Set the whole thing about her affair, our marriage, everything to the side for a brief time. I don't really know what my purpose was being there, but I think she just needs somebody there so she didn't feel alone. She spent most of her time stretching and doing some sort of yoga routine and bouncing on this huge exercise ball. I twiddled my thumbs for the most part and looked through a bunch of his belongings. Uh, I would have done that. Yes, this is his child and all that, but no. I would say call your fucking family, call your mom, call your sister, something like that. I'll be there for the delivery room, but I'm not going to be there in his house. I was timing the contractions and they were consistent and slowly to get closer together. So that was probably actually going to happen. I wasn't nearly far enough along to go to the hospital yet and it was getting close to when he'd get home. I was planning how to handle that when she called me into the bathroom to ask if I thought her water broke. It wasn't like in the movies with this huge gush of water. So he got home and I was there. I think she did this on purpose, knowing darn well it wasn't going to be happening right away, just to have more drama. She loves drama. He came in the house and the first thing he said is, what are you doing here? I think he thought something else was going on. No, you just left and went to work and left her alone when she was scared. See, this is the type of guy he is. He puts himself first, even over his pregnant girlfriend. See? And yet she chases him. He said he was home and he'd be out with her until it was time to go to the hospital. He put his hand on my shoulder and said something like, Thanks, bud. I got it from here. And we'll call you when we get around the way to the hospital. He called me bud. I told him I wasn't his fucking buddy and to fuck off. Oh, good for you. I could tell she wanted me to leave. I'm not sure she really wanted me to leave. I could tell she wanted me to leave. I'm not sure she really wanted me to leave so much as she was in labor and the tension between the two of us wasn't what she needed, and I knew that. It was his house, so what was I supposed to do? I left and prayed they actually called me instead of letting me know the next day that my kid had been born. Drama, drama, drama. And this guy, you know, it, he easily gets roped into things. Ugh. She texted me a few hours later to say the doctor told her to go to the hospital. At that point, I didn't know if I was going to be waiting outside or what he decided was best for the, his apparent wife and child. I was allowed to be in the room. I didn't force my way in there. She said she wanted me to be in there. He was there too. By far the single most awkward experience of my life. And the only reason I was able to ex excuse it was because she told me she wanted me there. And I didn't want to miss the chance of being there when my kid was born and to hold my kid before he did. This is such an effed up situation. I get he wants to be there for the birth of his child and to hold his child, not him, but ay ay ay. Effing humiliating, then the guy tried to police what I could see. I put the baby in there. He's fucking watching me. It's like he's it's still with my wife, and that's my baby. I chose to stay dignified and ignored him the entire time. I was there to do whatever she told me to do, and my focus wasn't on him, but in any other setting, I don't think I would have been able to hold back. The baby came flying out. I mean, as far as labor goes, uh, the, these are nurses' words, and I trust labor and delivery nurses to know what they're talking about. She tore very badly because the baby came out so fast. The baby is so tiny, barely 6 pounds and only 18 inches, but perfectly healthy. Well, congratulations, Dad. I'm glad that the baby's healthy. I went home for a short rest, although I really couldn't rest at all. Who can blame you? I went back today, and of course, he was there. Surprisingly, he said he was going to give us some time alone with the baby. Not sure if she had previously asked him to do that when I showed up or not. I didn't ask. <laughs> I would think this is when he's hightailing out of there. He even brought us all the food back when he returned a few hours later. I wondered if mine might be poisoned, but I tried to be nice. He's still not going to be. He's still he's still not gone, so I'm wondering how long he'll be around. I just can't let myself do anything that will make her try to keep me away from my daughter right now. I don't want them making it difficult for me. I prefer not to share her name publicly, but I can confirm it's the name we chose for our daughter years ago. He had no say, and he hasn't said anything about the name at all. It kills me to see him holding her, though. <sighs> yeah. This guy's now soon-to-be ex-wife is a fucking piece of garbage. I eventually left because it was just too much sitting there pretending to be like some bizarre threes company. I know I will get my time with her when he's not around. He's already posting them on social media. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to fight, figure it out. I just have to find a bit, way to be a bigger person because I won't let him or their relationship discourage me from being my daughter's dad. 
No, she, if, if indeed this is your daughter, do not let them get in the way. I totally get doing anything for your kids right now, and, and if it means having me to pretend to get along with them, I will. So that is the end of the story right now. This guy's doing constant updates, and I will certainly continue on with this adventure here. And I'll say, you know, on the one hand, of course, we can feel bad for this guy's poor bastard that's happening to him. But on the other hand, how he was in his marriage with her, you know, she is a piece of garbage. We can all agree there. But he didn't help the situation the way he was with her. He was obviously, I guarantee she was probably pulling bullshit with him for years, probably cheating for years, too. I think at this point, this guy needs to talk to his lawyer and say, okay, lawyer, I now have a daughter and do everything you got to do to help me with this child to make sure they can't fuck me over or any kind of bullshit like that. And frankly, it is only married time and I'm, I'm calling it now. This guy is not going to work out with this guy and this ex-wife of his will be begging to come back to him. I guarantee it. You know, and at the end of the day, maybe he can use that against, to maybe get, hopefully get full custody of the daughter one day. You never know. You know, that un unfit environment. Who Who knows? One can dream, one can hope. But anyhow, you can already see, even though right now he's lost the battle, I think this guy's going to win the war because at the end of the day, he's now going to be rid of this a-hole woman. And it's only a matter of time before she'll be begging him back. I guarantee it. And already, she's not being treated the same thing, same way by her lover as she is by this guy writing the story here. He's made mistakes. We can all agree there, but no guy deserves this. So guys, this once again proves paying attention to red flags, standing up for yourself, laying down the law, and all that. And this guy's got to stop doing things for her, you know, to make for the child. I mean, doing things for the child, fair enough, but she likes to keep roping in for more drama. You can see it, and they do that type of thing. So I will continue on this story when there are future updates. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.